Earlier this month, a man in Tennessee reported seeing a dime-shaped object whirling through the sky at incredible speed. He's not sure that it was a UFO, but for three out of ten Americans, the answer may be obvious. There are many true believers out there, and one of them held the highest office in Arizona. CNN's Gary Tuckman reports. Fife Symington is now a businessman. He was the Republican governor of Arizona for six years, elected when the first George Bush was president. Now, a decade after leaving the state house, he takes me to a Phoenix park and discloses something unlike anything uttered by any other high-level U.S. politician. If you if you had been here ten years ago and standing out here and looking up there at the um, at the lights and the view, um, you would have been astounded. You would have been amazed. Governor Symington is referring to what is now known as the Phoenix Lights, an object videotaped by many and seen by thousands over several nights in the Arizona sky in 1997. Major sighting here. It was described by witnesses as larger than a football field and silent. It was a giant V, all right? And the right side of the V went over us. The left side was like a couple blocks over it. You just didn't know what to do, you know? It was just like... My God, how big is this thing? The great state of Arizona, Fife Symington. The former governor, a Vietnam Air Force veteran, had never publicly acknowledged seeing it until now. And I suspect that uh, unless uh, uh, the Defense Department proves us otherwise, that it was probably uh, some form of an alien spacecraft. So why didn't he say anything then? Partly, he says, because he didn't want people to panic. I think as a public figure, you have to be very careful about what you say because uh, people can have pretty uh, emotional reactions. And, and, uh, and I said my goal wasn't to try to stir the pot. And he went to humorous and controversial lengths not to stir the pot. He held a news conference after the Phoenix Lights to announce the mystery had been solved. And now I'll ask Officer Stein and his colleagues to escort the accused into the room so that we may all look upon the guilty party. Don't get him too close to me, please. <laughs> In the alien costume, the governor's chief of staff. Now this just goes to show that you guys are entirely too serious. <laughs> UFO enthusiasts were not amused, especially since the governor was believed to have seen nothing. But now he's coming out. The lights were really brilliant, uh, and it was just fascinating. It, I mean, it was, it was enormous. It just felt otherworldly. You know, you're, in your gut, you could just tell it was otherworldly. Symington will be talking about this in an updated film about UFOs called Out of the Blue. He has also talked with an organization that wants UFO information more out in the open. It's very significant that someone of the stature of a governor would come out and say that they acknowledge that they experienced uh, a UFO um, because it brings a lot of credibility and strength to the case. Governor Symington says he did tell his family, friends and staff about what he saw early on. I still behind the scenes uh, tried to investigate it, but I got nowhere. So what were the Phoenix Lights? Well, frankly, we don't know. What we do know is that it's as much of a mystery today as it was a decade ago. Gary Tuckman, CNN, Phoenix. From UFOs to a story that's truly out of this world, the astronaut accused of trying to abduct her romantic rival